Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Friend Zone, released in the year 2019. At the start of the movie, we're introduced to a high school student named Gink. Her father is driving her to school in a rush one day. Instead of attending class, she leaps over the fence and into the car of one of her friends, Palm. Gink and Palm skip class that day because she believes her father is having an affair. They follow Gink's father to the airport, who's supposed to be at work. Turns out that Gink's father has a flight to Chiang Mai, Thailand, so the two of them also get tickets and fly to the same place. When the plane lands, they continue to follow her father as he checks into a hotel. They also decide to stay in the same hotel, so they book a room right next to his and try to hear his conversation through the wall in the next room. Palm urges Gink to return home because he's afraid of being caught, but Gink refuses. She tries again, but is unable to hear her father's discussion. With no choice left, Palm also joins in, and they're ultimately able to hear her father's conversation, revealing that he's actually having an affair. Gink goes to confront her father after knowing this, but Palm prohibits her. With teary eyes, Gink complies, and the two catch a flight back to their hometown, Bangkok. Throughout the flight, Gink moans and hides her face with a blanket. She's utterly devastated by her father's betrayal and cries in Palm's arms as he tries to console her. Palm then expresses his love for her, leading Gink to inquire as to what kind of love he's referring to. Palm then responds that he loves her as a friend. He believes that they can stay together for a long time if they remain friends. Gink cries even louder, but since then, they've been very close friends. In the next scene, Gink is seen with a boyfriend named Louis, but her relationship with Palm remains untouched. They usually spend time together and do fun things like travel, sing, and even go on romantic dinners. A few years later, in 2019, Palm and Gink are finally set to get married. Gink is singing on the stage while Palm and his friends are gossiping about how their relationship developed from being close friends to finally getting married. Palm starts his story, stating that everything started in 2017, when Gink had just broken up with Lewis after an eight-year relationship. Palm has just landed a job as a flight attendant, so he has easy access to flights all around Asia. He is always there for Gink, and on that day too, he goes to her house to cheer her up. Later, Palm takes her to her recording studio, where an artist working on her session advises her that love and relationships are a waste of time. Gink agrees with her and promises never to date again. The next day, as the duo is cycling, Palm questions Gink if she will really not date again, but the latter replies that she believes a good man is still waiting for her. This makes Palm happy, and he smiles. In 2018, Gink has found a new boyfriend named Ted, who's a music producer. The three of them are at a party one night, and Ted offers Gink to sing with him. Gink accepts, but due to her carelessness, she falls off the stage and breaks her leg. When the ambulance arrives, they only permit Gink to be accompanied by one person. Ted and Palm both want to climb in the ambulance, but Gink chooses Ted and advises Palm to enjoy the party. Palm is clearly devastated, but there's nothing he can do about it. A few weeks later, Palm is on vacation in Yangon, Myanmar with his new girlfriend. Even though he's in a relationship, he isn't serious about it. Gink has been the only girl in his heart, and coincidentally, she calls him to say that she isn't feeling well. She further says that she's vomiting and hasn't had her periods. As a result, she thinks that she's pregnant and is worried and alone in Kuala Lumpur. Hearing this, Palm immediately rushes to Malaysia and arrives at Gink's hotel as quickly as possible. He then hands her a pregnancy test kit and goes behind the toilet door to wait. The outcome is revealed a few moments later, and fortunately, Gink is not pregnant. Gink then expresses that she's worried about Ted having an affair with another female. Ted is now working on an album with singers from several Asian countries. Because of her leg, Gink is unable to join him. However, her suspicions increase when she spots a receipt for a dinner at a luxurious hotel. As a result, Palm and Gink decide to eat at the same restaurant and question the staff. The waiters, however, cannot recall if Ted had been around. Palm then begins to imitate Ted in a comical manner, and Gink joins in by imitating a random singer, attempting to attract him. Later, the duo return from the restaurant, and Gink informs Palm that she'll be traveling to Cambodia to catch up with Ted. 
In turn, Palm informs her that he'll also be returning to work. Following this, Gink hugs him and tells him how fortunate she is to have him. Although sad about her departure, Palm also hugs her back and puts on a smile. In the next scene, Gink meets up with Ted in Cambodia and joins a recording session with him. There, she becomes envious when she notices Ted being too comfortable with a singer. Later, after the couple return to their hotel, Gink keeps looking for clues that Ted is cheating on her. When he falls asleep, she unpacks his suitcase and discovers a condom, which has a missing piece. Later, Palm is dumped by his girlfriend at the airport. As he's distraught over it, he suddenly spots Gink there. Gink tells him that she's traveling to Hong Kong to spy on Ted and Joyce, with whom she believes Ted is having an affair. After this, the best friends again depart, but on the flight, Palm joins Gink and the two head to Hong Kong together. After reaching there, they have dinner at a restaurant near Ted's studio. When Gink rings Ted, he says that he'll be back at the hotel as soon as he's finished recording. However, when Gink peeks from the window, she notices Ted exiting with another girl. Devastated with the revelation, Gink along with Palm rush to follow Ted, assuming he'll head to the hotel. Unfortunately, they lose track of him and decide to head to the hotel directly. There, they find out that Ted hasn't arrived and hence wait for him in the lobby. After hours of waiting, a taxi suddenly appears and a woman steps out of it. Gink immediately closes her eyes, preparing for the worst. But fortunately, an old man comes out of it. Time passes by, but Ted doesn't arrive, and this worries Gink. She tries calling him multiple times, but he doesn't answer. Just then, Palm hands her his phone, thinking that Ted might answer from an unknown number. Lo and behold, the call is answered, but Gink hangs up the phone without uttering a word. This devastates Gink, as she's now convinced that Ted is having an affair. Following this, they leave the hotel and board an open-top, double-decker bus. Palm tries to cheer her up, but she remains quiet as she cannot think of anything other than Ted's betrayal. When a billboard approaches them, Gink suddenly jumps from her seat and catches it. She hangs onto it for a while, screaming in fear, but luckily the bus reverses and Palm is able to bring her down. As soon as he does, Gink hugs her on the bus and other passengers can be seen clicking pictures of them. Later, Palm informs Gink that he'll be heading home the next day, but Gink doesn't want him to leave in this situation. As a result, she joins him on his flight to Thailand. They land in Krabi, and Gink insists Palm on staying, but the latter still has one more flight to attend to Bangkok. As a result, Gink decides to stay in a hotel while Palm promises to meet her after his shift is over. After ending his duty, Palm joins Gink in the hotel room, where she is looking a mess. Jokingly, he takes her cosmetic box and does her makeup to cheer her up. They then leave the hotel and go on a trek through the woods. They continue their journey on a motorbike, and while driving, a monkey unexpectedly appears on the road. Palm stops the motorbike and Gink jumps to her feet and runs. However, before she can reach very far, Palm orders her to sit back on the motorbike. Thinking that she's with him, Palm quickly accelerates, but when he looks back, he notices Gink running after him. Turns out that the monkey was the one who sat on the motorbike. Palm instantly reverses his bike to pick up Gink, but the latter is enraged and yells at him. Suddenly, her stomach starts aching and they're forced to halt their trip. While she's at it, Gink realizes that she forgot to bring tissues, so Palm offers her his socks, which she declines. Left with no other option, Palm hands her his shirt so that Gink can do her business. In the next scene, the duo continue their trip, and now they're in the city. There, people laugh at Palm as he's riding through the busy street shirtless. In the afternoon, they walk to the beach, where Gink makes Palm listen to a song that Ted had created. She reveals that she hates the song, so Palm alters the lyrics with his own, making her smile. As they enjoy their time, it starts getting dark, so Gink asks Palm to return to their hotel room. When they arrive, Gink prepares a bath mixed with beer and invites Palm to join her. Hesitantly, Palm agrees and Gink washes his hair from behind. Suddenly, their gazes meet and they appear to kiss, but Gink can't go through with it. Palm also understands the situation as they've been best friends since long ago. Gink then becomes emotional and inquires as to why Ted cheats on her with other women. 
Hearing this, Palm realizes that he was being used, so the two end up having an argument. After a while, the two finally calm down and promise to visit Europe to see the Northern Lights together. Before going to sleep, Palm asks Gink to visit him at the temple if she breaks up with Ted. A few days later, Gink accompanies Ted to a studio in Myanmar, but becomes envious when he gets too close to a singer. Enraged, she grabs the microphone and interrogates Ted about his affair in Hong Kong. Caught red-handed, Ted finally comes clean that he was having an affair. He grabs Gink as she's about to leave and apologizes for his mistakes. Gink, who is emotional, also decides to give him another chance. In the next scene, Gink meets up with Palm in the temple and informs him that she's given Ted another chance. Palm is heartbroken at the revelation, and he expresses his regret for not dating Gink in high school. He then decides to walk away, but Gink chases him, claiming that he's the most important man in her life. She also mentions that if they dated, their relationship would not survive this long. Despite this, Palm leaves the place without turning back, and the duo haven't talked to each other since. One day, while Gink is shopping with Ted, she suddenly hears a song that she used to listen together with Palm. With this, she starts reminiscing about all the memories she had with Palm, including their high school and their disastrous trip to Hong Kong. Here, she realizes that the only man who was by her side through all her good and bad times was Palm. A few months later, while Gink is riding her bicycle, she suddenly notices Palm and races after him. She informs him that she has ended her relationship with Ted. Palm questions if it was because of another affair, but Gink replies that she broke up because she wanted to go to Europe to see the Northern Lights, and then marry Palm because she loves him. Palm immediately accepts the proposal and the two hug each other with joy. As the story concludes, we're taken to the present. Palm mentions to his friends that this is how he's been with Gink for 10 years. Following this, he approaches Gink and inquires about the ring he gave her. When she realizes that it's missing, everyone in the party starts searching. After a while, Palm finally finds the ring. The movie ends as he proposes to Gink by putting the ring on her finger. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.